The focus of this Qigong exercise is to nourish the major energy centers of your body, which are called chakras. It is especially beneficial during the first trimester. Let us begin. From your heart, send love to the earth. From your heart, send love to the heavens. Imagine a brilliant red light coming up from the earth through the bottoms of your feet and coming down from the heavens through the top of your head, meeting at the root chakra. Inhale and expand your arms, inviting the red light to surround your entire body. Exhale as the hands concentrate the red light in the chakra. Imagine a brilliant orange light coming up from the earth through the bottoms of your feet and coming down from the heavens through the top of your head, meeting at the sacral chakra. Inhale and expand your arms, inviting the orange light to surround your entire body. Exhale as the hands concentrate the orange light in the chakra. Imagine a brilliant yellow light coming up from the earth and coming down from the heavens, meeting at the solar plexus chakra. Inhale and expand your arms, inviting the yellow light to surround your entire body. Exhale as the hands concentrate the yellow light in the chakra. Imagine a brilliant green light coming up from the earth and coming down from the heavens, meeting at the heart chakra. Inhale and expand your arms, inviting the green light to surround your entire body. Exhale as the hands concentrate the green light in the chakra. Imagine a brilliant blue light coming up from the earth and coming down from the heavens, meeting at the throat chakra. Inhale and expand your arms, inviting the blue light to surround your entire body. Exhale as the hands concentrate the blue light in the chakra. Imagine a brilliant purple light coming up from the earth and coming down from the heavens, meeting at the third eye chakra. Inhale and expand your arms, inviting the purple light to surround your entire body. Exhale as the hands concentrate the purple light in the chakra. Imagine a brilliant golden light coming up from the earth and coming down from the heavens, meeting at the crown chakra. Inhale and expand your arms, inviting the golden light to surround your entire body. Exhale as the hands concentrate the golden light in the chakra. We finish this exercise with a gentle movement to harmonize the chakras.
With your hands placed in front of your heart, gently close your eyes. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly, allowing your whole body to relax. Direct your attention to your heart. Feel your heart full of love and joy. Send love to the center of the earth, offering thanks for supporting you and your baby's development. Send love to the heavens, offering thanks for sending this soul to join your family. Send love to your community, offering thanks to those who are here to support you during your pregnancy and those who will have a role in raising your child. Send love to your baby. Open yourself to receive his or her love in return. Circle the top of your body over your hips, stretching as far as possible in each direction. Inhale as you circle towards the front and exhale as you move towards the back. One of our focuses during this yoga sequence will be creating flexibility. This movement creates flexibility in the spine and also massages the internal organs. Flexibility of the body will help you to enjoy your pregnancy despite the physical changes you will experience. Now change directions. Flexibility of the body and mind are essential during the birthing process. The ability to let go and allow things to happen will make for an enjoyable birth. Flexibility is also important as a mother. Life moves in a different way with children. If you are relaxed and flexible with your plans, life will be much easier. Now we will create a forward and backward motion with the spine. As you inhale forward, bring your shoulders back and your chin up, allowing a great expansion of the chest. As you exhale back, bring your chin to your chest and move back on your sitting bones. Feel a sense of joy radiating throughout your body. This exercise improves the flexibility of the spine and opens your heart to receive your child.
Interlace your fingers and support the back of your head. Bring your right elbow down to your right knee and stretch your left elbow up to the ceiling. Inhale up and exhale, bringing your left elbow to your left knee and your right elbow to the ceiling. Inhale up and exhale as you bring your right elbow to your right knee. Inhale up and exhale as you bring your left elbow to your left knee. Really feel the stretch as the top elbow points up to the ceiling. This exercise creates flexibility in the spine and the side stretch allows for more space for your growing baby. Keep your awareness with the breath as you inhale up and exhale down. Place one hand on top of the other and gently but firmly make large circles around your abdomen in a clockwise direction. Move your hands slowly and imagine your abdomen filled with warm golden light. Breathe slowly and deeply. Now switch directions. This technique is very good for supporting the digestive system and tonifying your energy. If you are experiencing constipation, only move in the clockwise direction to assist in elimination. Breathe slowly and deeply. Place your hands on your lower back and make large circles with gentle but firm pressure. Breathe slowly and deeply. This technique is used to strengthen your lower back and your kidney energy. In Chinese medicine, the kidney energy is very important for a healthy pregnancy. Open your legs as wide as is comfortable. 
begin stretching from side to side in a gentle sliding motion. Inhale up and exhale down. Massage your legs and your sides with your hands as you slide back and forth. Inhale up and exhale down. Now bring the opposite hand up over your head, giving your side a good stretch. Inhale up and exhale down. Always keep your awareness with your breath. Inhale up and exhale down. This exercise creates flexibility of the inner thigh and the spine and helps create space for your growing baby. Reach your hands in front of you until you feel a good stretch in your legs. We will now do an exercise to help you learn how to work with your body during contractions. This exercise is all about allowing the body to open. Breathe slowly and deeply. Allow yourself to totally relax with each exhale. Move your hands a bit further away, again feeling a good stretch in your legs. Breathe slowly and deeply. As you exhale, feel how all tension just melts away. Relax your mouth and jaw. Again, move your hands a bit further away. Breathe slowly and deeply, relaxing your inner thigh muscles. Relax your mouth and jaw. The mouth and jaw are directly related to the cervix. Keeping your mouth and jaw relaxed during contractions assists your cervix in opening. Once more, move your hands further away. Breathe slowly and deeply. Move your legs in front of you and shake them out. Allow the floor to gently massage your legs to improve circulation. Now 
Now alternate a flexion and extension of your feet. Allow the movement of your feet to guide your whole body into an alternating stretch. Move your hips and your shoulders in synchronicity with your feet. Feel the stretch through your entire body. Breathe slowly and deeply. Bring your right foot against your left inner thigh. Stretch forward as far as possible. If you can grab your toes, do so. And if not, place your hands on your lower leg. Inhale as you bring your head up. Exhale as you bring your nose towards your knee. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. In Taoist yoga, the name of this movement is bamboo bending in the wind. It is thought to create flexibility to weather the storms of life. Allow this intention to help you to be flexible in your birth and as a mother. Now bring your left foot against your right inner thigh. Inhale up, and exhale down. Inhale up, and exhale down. Feel the tension of your muscles melt away with each exhale. Inhale up, and exhale down. Now, Lie flat on your back and hold on to your knees. Move your knees in a circle, allowing the weight of your body to massage your lower back and sacrum. Now change directions.
Lie flat on your back and extend your arms out to the side. Raise your right leg and slowly lower it to the left side. You can do this with your legs straight or bent at the knee. Turn your head and look towards your right hand, completing the spinal twist. On your next exhale, relax your body completely and allow all the sensations of tension to melt away. Now switch sides. Raise your left leg and lower it to the right side. You can do this with your legs straight or bent at the knee. Turn your head and look towards your left hand. And each exhale, allow your body to go deeper into the stretch. Surrender and breathe. Slowly roll over to one side and push yourself up. Get onto your hands and knees. Your hands should be under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Exhale and arch your back up, tightening your abdominal muscles. Inhale down, allowing your belly to hang freely. Exhale up, push into the floor with your hands, feet and knees. Inhale down, relax your back, raising your head and tailbone. Exhale up, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale down, raising your head and looking upward with your eyes. Exhale up, tighten your abdominal muscles. Inhale down and allow your belly to hang freely. Exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down. This exercise helps to release stress and tension in the back and neck muscles and helps to keep the spine flexible. In the third trimester, it may be useful to help your baby move into the proper position for birth. In this next movement, we will stay in the same hands and knees position, only now we create a spiraling motion with our hips. Make large circles with your hips moving in the clockwise direction. Allow your belly to hang freely. Use this movement to connect with the fundamental spiraling motion of all creation. Think for a moment about the spiraling motion of our Milky Way galaxy, of the rotation of the Earth, of the spiraling of each DNA strand within every cell of your body. When a baby is being born, it also descends down the birth canal in a spiraling motion. Now switch directions. This movement can be used during the birth, 
It allows you to connect with the primal motion of the energy flow of the universe. It is this energy that will bring your baby out. During the birth, you can use this spiraling motion on your hands and knees, squatting, or standing. Connect with your baby now and enjoy this wonderful movement. Now we will do an endurance exercise. Place your forearms on the floor in a V and support your head with your hands. Straighten your right leg and continue to raise it up and down. We will do one minute of leg lifts on each side. Remember to keep your mouth and jaw relaxed. The goal of this exercise is for you to practice staying relaxed even if you are physically uncomfortable. An important aspect of birth is allowing your body to open even when you are challenged by strong physical sensations. Relax your mouth and jaw. Breathe deeply. Now change sides. Straighten your left leg and continue to raise it up and down. We will continue this movement for one minute. There is a time in the birthing process directly leading up to the pushing stage that may require immense concentration. This stage is called the transition and the contractions come on one right after the other. It is often the most challenging part of natural birth. It is a time that you may feel that it is impossible to continue, but it means that the baby is just about to be born. Use this time now to practice finding a peaceful place that you can go to. Remember to breathe deeply. Now it is time to rest. Spread your knees apart so that you may bend forward, touching your forehead to the floor. Extend your arms and feel the stretch through your back. Breathe slowly and deeply and enjoy this moment. During the birth experience, the moments between contractions can be extremely enjoyable. This is due to the release of endorphins which create the sensation of relaxation and pleasure. Slowly stand up with your feet a bit wider than your hips, clasp your hands behind your back. Bend forward and raise your hands to the ceiling. Slightly bend your knees and engage the muscles in your thighs to create a steady base. Breathe deeply and slowly. Release the back of your neck and allow your head to hang freely. Allow all of the tension of your back and shoulders to melt away with each exhale.
With your hands on your thighs, push yourself up to standing. We will now practice spiraling the hips while standing. Place your hands on your hips and move your hips in a large, gentle circle. Breathe slowly and deeply. Feel your connection to the creative force of the universe as your baby grows inside of you. Now switch directions. It is this creative spiraling energy that will help your baby to be born. Practice surrendering to it now. Do not resist this energy during the birth. Welcome it and surrender to it. With your feet slightly wider than your hips, inhale your hands up over your head. Exhale and lower your butt towards the floor. Place your hands on the floor in front of you and push yourself up, allowing the spine to straighten one vertebra at a time. Inhale up. Exhale, lowering your butt towards the floor. Place your hands on the floor and push yourself up, allowing the spine to straighten one vertebra at a time. Inhale up and exhale down. Place your hands on the floor and push yourself up, allowing the spine to straighten one vertebra at a time. Squatting helps to increase the flexibility of your pelvis and hips, preparing them to open during the birth. Inhale your arms up. Exhale down, making a gentle moaning sound. Keep your mouth open and relaxed. Inhale up. Exhale down, making a gentle moaning sound. Low, deep sounds help the body to open during the birth. Inhale your arms up. Exhale down, making a gentle moaning sound. Keep your mouth open and relaxed. Inhale up. Exhale down. Feel the sound vibrating through your whole body. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, allowing the sound to come from deep inside of you. We will now sit in the squatting position for one minute. Place a rolled up towel or blanket under your heels if they do not touch the ground. Press your upper arms into your inner thighs and allow your spine to lengthen. Breathe slowly and deeply. It is important to wait for the urge to push during the birth. If you push without the help of the uterine contractions, you can exhaust all of your energy. Your uterus is designed to push the baby out. This urge to push may happen immediately after full dilation, 
or it may take up to an hour. There is no danger in waiting for the sensation and allowing your body to do what it is meant to do. Surrender to this moment and to the process of birth. Please sit down for the final meditation. Begin by gently massaging your belly. Send love from your heart down to your baby. Imagine your abdomen filled with warm golden light. Place your hands together in front of your heart. Feel joy radiating from every cell in your body. We will now say a prayer for your baby. Please repeat after me. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you guide your way on. Let us now dedicate this yoga practice to all pregnant women and to all women who are giving birth right now. The biggest obstacle in birth is fear. This tapping sequence will allow you to eliminate the fears that you have about birth. The more you can feel the emotion of fear as you do the sequence, the more powerful the results will be. Here are a few examples. You should modify these statements to deal with your personal fears as you progress through your pregnancy. I highly recommend using affirmations and visualizations once you have worked on your fears. The first point is located just below the little finger on the hand. The second point is located on the wrist, proximal to the styloid process of the radius. 
These points are tapped together using a specific statement to activate the central channel and to eliminate subconscious resistance to change. The first point of the sequence is located at the very top of the head. The next point is located at the inside ridge of the eyebrow. The next point is located on the bony ridge on the outside of the eye. The next point is located on the bony ridge underneath the center of the eye. The next point is located directly under the nose. The next point is located under the mouth. The next point is located where the clavicle and the sternum come together. The next point is located midway between the armpit and the bottom of the rib cage. It is stimulated by wrapping your arms around yourself. The next point is located directly under the center of the breast. The last point is located on the inside of the wrist. It is activated by tapping the wrists together. Now let us begin. Even though I'm afraid of the pain of birth, I fully love and accept myself. Afraid of the pain. 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 Even though I'm afraid that something will go wrong during the birth, I fully love and accept myself. Afraid that something will go wrong. 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 Even though I'm afraid of not having control, I fully love and accept myself. Afraid of not having control. 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 
afraid of not having control, 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 afraid of not having control. Even though I'm afraid of needing a cesarean section, I fully love and accept myself. Afraid of a cesarean. 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 Even though I'm afraid of tearing, I fully love and accept myself. Afraid of tearing. 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 